Outcome 1, select components to be measured. Memory. Although memory is technically any form of electronic storage, it is used most often to identify fast, temporary forms of storage. If your computer CPU had to constantly access the hard drive, to retrieve every piece of data it needs. It would operate very slowly. When information is kept in memory, the CPU can access it much more quickly. Most forms of memory are intended to store data temporarily. The CPU assesses memory according to a distinct hierarchy. Whether it comes from permanent storage, the hard drive, or input, the keyboard. Most data go into random access memory, RAM. First, the CPU then stores pieces of data it will need to access, often in a cache and maintains certain special instructions in the register. Read-only memory or ROM Ships are located in the motherboard. ROM ships contain instructions that can be directly accessed by the CPU. Basic instructions for booting the computer and loading the operating system are stored in ROM. ROM chips retain their contents even when the computer is powered down. The contents cannot be erased or changed by normal means. Let's come to the random access memory or RAM. It is the temporary storage for data and programs that are being accessed by the CPU. RAM is volatile memory, which means that the contents are erased when the computer is powered off. The more RAM in a computer, the more capacity the computer has to hold and process large programs and files, as well as enhance system performance. Early computers had RAM installed in the motherboard as individual chips. The individual memory chips called dual inline package or DIP chips were difficult to install and often become loose on the motherboard. To solve this problem, designers soldered the memory chips on a special circuit board called a memory module. Here are some types of memory modules. Dual line package DIP single inline memory module SIM, dual inline memory module DIM, RAM boost inline memory module or RIM, small outline dual inline memory module or SODIM. SIMs have 30 pin and 72 pin configurations. DIM is a circuit board that holds SD-RAM, DDR, SD-RAM, and DDR2, SD-RAM. The speed of memory has a direct impact on how much data a processor can process because faster memory improves the performance of the processor. As processor speed increases, memory speed must also increase. For example, single channel memory is capable of transferring data at 64 bits. Dual channel memory increases speed by using second, a second channel of memory, creating a data transfer rate of 128 bits. Double data rate or DDR. It is a technology that doubles the maximum bandwidth of SD-RAM DDR2 offers faster the performance while using less energy. DDR3 operates at even higher speeds than DDR2. 
However, none of these DDR technologies are backward or forward compatible. Even with a wide and fast bus, it still takes longer for data to get from the memory card to the CPU than it takes for the CPU to actually process the data. Caches are designed to alleviate this bottleneck by making the data used most often by the CPU instantly available. Registers These are memory cells built right into the CPU that contain specific data needed by the CPU, particularly the arithmetic and logic unit or ALU, an in an integral part of the CPU itself, they are controlled directly by the compiler that sends information for the CPU to process. Storage drives. Storage drives read or write information on magnetic or optical storage media. The drive can be used to store data permanently or to retrieve information from a media disk. Storage drives can be installed inside the computer case, such as a hard drive. For portability, some storage drives can connect to the computer using a USB port, a FireWire port, or an SCSI port. These portable storage drives are sometimes referred to as removable drives and can be used on multiple computers. Common types of storage drives, floppy drive, hard drive, optical drive, flash drive. Floppy drive. A floppy drive or floppy disk drive is a storage device that uses removable 3.5 inch floppy disks. These magnetic floppy disks can store 720 KB or 1.44 MB of data. In a computer, the floppy drive is usually configured as the A drive. Floppy drive can be used to boot the computer if it contains a bootable floppy disk. A 5.25 inch floppy drive is older technology and is seldom used. Let's go to the hard drive. A hard drive or hard disk drive is a magnetic storage device that is installed inside the computer. The hard drive is used as permanent storage for data. In a Windows computer, the hard drive is usually configured as the C drive and contains the operating system and applications. The hard drive is often configured as the first drive in the boot sequence. The storage capacity of a hard drive is measured in billions of bytes or gigabytes or GB. The speed of a hard drive is measured in revolutions per minute, RPM. Multiple hard drives can be added to increase storage capacity. Traditional hard drives are magnetic. Magnetic hard drives have drive motors designed to spin magnetic platters and the drive heads. In contrast, the newer solid-state drives, SSDs, do not have moving parts because there are no drive motors and moving parts. The SSD uses far less energy than the magnetic hard drive. Non-volatile flash memory chips manage all storage on an SSD, which results in faster access to data, higher reliability, and reduced power usage. SSDs have the same form factor as magnetic hard drives and use ATA or SATA interfaces. SSDs can be installed as a replacement for magnetic drives. Let's go to the optical drive. An optical drive is a storage device that uses lasers to read data on the optical media. There are three types of optical drives. Compact disc or CD, 
Digital Versatile Disc or DVD and Blu-ray Disc or BD. CD, DVD, and BD media can be pre-recorded or read-only, recordable write once or rewritable read and write multiple times. External flash drive. An external flash drive, also known as a thumb drive. It is a removable storage device that connects to a USB port. An external flash drive uses the same type of non-volatile memory chips as solid-state drives and does not require power to maintain the data. These drives can be accessed by the operating system in the same way that other types of drives are accessed. Types of drive interfaces Hard drives and optical drives are manufactured with different interfaces that are used to connect the drive to the computer. To install a storage drive in a computer, the connection interface on the drive must be the same as the controller on the motherboard. Come to the Common Drive Interfaces IDE Integrated Drive Electronics It is also called Advanced Technology Attachment or ATA. It is an early drive controller interface that connects computers and hard disk drives. An IDE interface uses a 40-pin connector. Next, SATA. Serial ATA refers to the serial version of the ATA drive controller interface. A SATA interface uses a 7-pin data connector. SCSI, Small Computer System Interface. It is a drive controller interface that can connect up to 15 drives. SCSI can connect both internal and external drives. An SCSI interface uses a 50-pin, 68-pin, or 80-pin connector. Thank you!